Hey guys, Kale Thornton here back with another video and today we're taking a look at a more budget friendly boom arm option from a company called the U-Shares. The boom arm itself is more marketed towards being used with the Razer Siren X, but of course can be used with a plethora of other microphones like the Razer Siren Mini I have sitting on here right now. Um, it's gonna be a good option to consider for those of you wanting to get that microphone off your desk, maybe free up some extra space, also maybe up your audio game a little bit without breaking the bank, so let's hop into the review. For the box contents, you're gonna get your clamp, the boom arm itself, a 3 8 of an inch to a 5 8 of an inch thread adapter, and then along with that, you're gonna get a windscreen. The setup process itself is very quick and easy. Just go ahead, take your clamp, and loosen it to the thickness of whatever surface you're gonna be clamping it down onto. With the max width allowed, it's gonna be 1.8 inches. Then go ahead and tighten it back down until it's snug on that surface. Then go ahead and insert your boom arm into the clamp, swivel it around to the desired direction, and then go ahead and tighten down that set screw. Then from that point, you're good to move around as you would like. The bottom segment of tubing is 13 inches with the top segment just being a bit longer at 13.8 inches. So gonna give you almost 27 inches of vertical and horizontal reach with the max weight or load capacity of it for the microphone being at 2.6 pounds. So it's gonna work for almost any USB condenser microphone such as the Siren Mini, the Siren X, the Solocast, the Quadcast, you get the drift. Um, just make sure the microphone is at least 2.6 pounds or less than that, preferably less, and you're not gonna have to worry about it if you wanna check that before and just make sure you look on the information for the microphone. Once you do have your boom arm set up how you would like, you can go ahead and attach whatever microphone you'll be using by the 3 8 of an inch thread, or if your microphone does happen to use 5 8 of an inch thread, such as the Siren Mini or Siren X, you are able to use that included adapter in the box, which will take it up to that 5 eighths of an inch for those microphones. Looking at the build quality of the boom arm itself, for just $25, of course, we're not expecting anything extravagant or some really nice design or nice metals on it. Um, the tube metal on it is a little bit thinner, and with that, you know, it just looks a little bit cheaper, feels a little bit cheaper in hand than maybe some of your more expensive options, but for what it is and what it's supposed to be doing at the $25 price point, I don't find any issues with it. You're also gonna have that exterior spring design, which might not be the most appealing thing to the eyes, but again, if you were like to search for boom arms, on Amazon, just an absolute plethora of options around the same $25, $20 price point. You'll see all look pretty much exactly like that. And in all the time of using this one so far, I've had really no issues with it. The one minor gripe and thing that's actually kind of bothered me or thing I've noticed that seems to be a little bit chintzy with it is where they have those pads on this clamp down here itself. That heat amount just seems to be loosening up and those pads just kind of want to slip right off or come completely off, which of course, not a big issue if you're just going to leave it in place and always have it there. But if you find yourself moving it around a lot, you might have to like re-adhere those yourself with some glue or just make sure you line up the pads before you clamp it back down. Just a minor thing, but wanted to point it out to you guys. Wrapping up the video here, um, is it worth that $25? as it already kind of seems obvious, I would say definitely yes. I mean, it gives you exactly what you expect. And with so many options on Amazon, basically being the exact same boom arm as this, I don't see any issues with it. And if you're someone who wants to stay on that lower part of the price as far as, far as for boom arms, I can go up into like the hundreds and stuff, which is just not necessary for those of you just wanting to hop into the world of content creation, or maybe just wanting to get the microphone off your desk. This definitely does a good job of that. Just taking into consideration some of the things I did point out in the video. But I will say, if your budget does allow for it, there's a really great boom arm I checked out not too long ago from InnoGear, which just is a little bit more robust as well as a little bit more sleek looking with the springs being on the inside, a little bit heavier due to metal, heavy duty metal on it. And I'll leave a link to my review in that description down below if you guys are interested in checking that one out. Um, it is of course more expensive, but if you're someone who has a little bit more room in the budget, um, I would definitely recommend looking at something just a little bit nice in this as it's just gonna be a little bit more aesthetically pleasing as well as a little bit more robust overall. But again, for $25, I don't think you can go too wrong with this. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you found it helpful and informative, please hit that like button for me and do consider subscribing, but I'll See you guys in the next one.